Yes, hello, my name is Henrik Vasallo and I'm head of Saab in uh, France. And we have been here since uh, 2016 when Saab made a strategic decision to open an office in Paris. Before that, we had not been present uh, on the French market. So now, since 2016, we are trying to attend all the big events and so France is a perfect place to be. My, my director of sales will talk a little bit more about what we are exhibiting here. But we are so happy to be here because Saab is a big international company doing a lot of exports and the French market is really hot for Saab today. My name is Camille Pertuzzo. I'm the head of sales for Saab in France, working with the company since uh, 2017. And uh, so we are there uh, today at Sofans, uh, the French uh, Special Forces and International Special Forces event to exhibit some of our flagship products that we have and that we are especially uh, promoting here in France. So I can uh, maybe uh, give you a short tour on the products here on the stand. Yes. So the Carl Gustav M4 is our, let's say, flagship uh, ground uh, weapon systems uh, created in the 40s, back in the years in Sweden. It has been uh, already, already uh, uh, procured by several special forces around the world, uh, like uh, countries like uh, the US, for instance, are uh, a strong user of the, of the Carl Gustav M4. Uh, so this weapon actually is a very versatile system, meaning that we have a, a, a wide portfolio of ammunition uh, which allow special forces to, let's say, uh, evolve in different type of conditions and against different type of uh, targets. So like uh, munitions for structures, anti-personnel, high explosives. We have also uh, systems for smoke or illuminations type of ammunition used for these systems and also some uh, ammunition for trainings, uh, which are a, a lot used. So we have also here as a static display product our Barracuda nets uh, for signature management. So Barracuda is a world, uh, let's say, leader in this technology. And uh, this is multi-spectral uh, camouflage nets that we are offering here at Saab. Especially uh, today at Sofans, we are exhibiting our ULCAS system. And uh, so this multispectral camouflage has the particular property to really, let's say, give signature management uh, to the forces against all the threat spectrum. So we can, let's say, really uh, counter uh, uh, like uh, infrared, uh, like uh, thermal, visual, and all this can be turned into the same, let's say, uh, multispectral systems of Saab Barracuda. So at Saab, and especially also here in France, uh, we have a high, let's say, interest for our new, uh, new newest and uh, small tactical deployable radar. So it's called Giraffe 1X. The reason is very simple. It is a one meter diameter uh, systems uh, uh, with uh, frequency in X-band. So this system uh, has been now uh, is in serial production at Saab. And uh, it is, uh, let's say, radar which is made uh, primarily for uh, air surveillance uh, threats uh, uh, and also which allows to uh, uh, have uh, some specificities in the term of contra UAV, for instance, detection and surveillance to be able then to neutralize uh, uh, the, the drones and the UAVs, uh, for instance. So it is again tactical, uh, tactical radar, very light. Uh, in total, the weight of the radar, including the turntable, is uh, lower than 150 kilos. And uh, this is also a radar which offer uh, a quite significant range in terms of detections uh, between 70 up to 100 kilometers according to uh, the land versions or the naval version of the radar. So Saab is really a world leader uh, in the training and simulation field, meaning that we do a lot of systems from weapons replicas until also systems based on laser code which allow really the, the, the combat training in live conditions to be uh, replicate. So uh, we have these uh, laser systems, uh, either one way or, or two ways, which can be mounted on vehicles or also on soldiers directly. And that allows together with an exercise control system to really train uh, uh, up to hundreds of uh, uh, soldiers at the same time uh, with an, with an, an excons that allow also the restitutions of the training simulations and then uh, debriefing uh, and uh, uh, let's say, yes, uh, 
best advice we can get from this training live. So we are at Sofans again because this is a place to be uh, in France for the uh, special forces in France, but not only. Uh, Sofans has been really uh, now moving to a more and more international event, I would say. So we have a lot of delegations here. Uh, in three days, we will have uh, close to uh, 25 delegations on, on our stand at Saab. So we are very happy with that. And of course, some of the products that I have mentioned uh, are already, uh, let's say, under some kind of test evaluations by the French. Uh, uh, um, forces and uh, we hope that uh, these products in France, in Europe and internationally will continue to, to develop. My name is Patricia Palmer and I'm the commercial export engineer for Saint-Igon France. We're very pleased to exhibit this vehicle at the Sofans vehicle, a very high-tech and special force um, event. And uh, this vehicle is a Santigon Fortress 200. This vehicle exists in two versions. We've got the Escort model and the Intervention model. The Escort ver version is more designed to transport high rank personalities. Uh, the Intervention uh, version is more used for um, a rapid response. Um, it is widely used internationally and here in France uh, by special forces like the GIGN, uh, the RAID and uh, other um, uh, police forces. This vehicle is very robust, very sturdy and the ballistic integrity is very unique with Santigon. As you can see this vehicle can be equipped with different options. We've got um, interior options, different garnishing. Um, we can have a very basic structure for intervention vehicles. Uh, for escort models we can have uh, it equipped with leather seats or uh, a fabric seat and fabric um, roof uh, finish. Once we receive this vehicle, it's completely um, uh, dismantled and, and um, equipped with uh, ballistic interior protection according to um, the requirements of our customers. So we have ballistic protections um, from a B6 level up to a VR9 level. Um, the, the links to um, uh, the ground, uh, including the um, tires, are completely modified. The shock absorbers, the brakes, um, the, the tires are completely replaced um, to ensure the robustness of this, of this vehicle. So these vehicles can be equipped with many options, interior options, external options, um, including uh, steps, roof bars, bull bars, uh, to respond to, to the needs of our customers. Good afternoon, I am François Merieldo from Nextel System and today we present to you our last uh, tactical robot it's called Ultro. Uh, this robot is a modular mobility base uh, and with a mission functionality of logistics for infantrymen. Uh, this robot is uh, 700 kilos and can uh, receive a payload of 600 kilos. Uh, his capacity of, of mobilities are a max speed at 18 kilometers per hour and he can uh, move uh, all, on all the terrain where the infantrymen are going. Uh, he can go all in the wood, they can uh, pass a slope of 40 degrees uh, and uh, can go in 60 uh, centimeter of water. It's a very very simple basis with that kind of uh, roads that you have there who are uh, very adapted, uh, our Michelin roads, adapted for that kind of terrain. That, that plates are special, especially made uh, to be able to uh, pass through difficult terrain where the robot cannot pass by it itself or to pass uh, different gaps if we need. Also, we can uh, extract a wounded infantry uh, man. Okay, uh, we have this uh, place to do it. We, had, uh, we have different kind of uh, control commands on it. We have simple control commands, so you just operate it with a joystick. We have an overview. Uh, uh, control command with a tablet so you can see all the cameras that are all around the vehicle on the sides 
on the front, on the rear, with day cameras and uh, with uh, night cameras, infrared and uh, low level uh, of light. So you can operate it night and day. And the last one is uh, the follow me functionality. With uh, 3D cameras, we can detect the, the infantryman and follow him uh, automatically. At the range, we, we will speak more with autonomy. We have an autonomy about 8 to 12 hours in uh, infantry mission profile, typical infantry mission profile. Uh, we have this autonomy uh, with a full electrical uh, solution with four batteries, they are truck batteries, like the, the battery we have on the Griffon uh, infantry combat vehicle of the French Army. And uh, we can recharge it on the VCI. This is also what we already do with the little robots that maybe you have already seen, the Nerva from Nexa Robotics. We have this possibility to control several robots at the same time or take the control of anyone you want and we are using the same technology on that kind of robot. My name is Pierre Alexandre Co. I am the business director of Artisys company. We showcase our design and manufacture of complete MCM solution for shallow water and very shallow water. EOD divers and special force uh, use. How it works, it's very simple. Uh, uh, autonomous underwater vehicle can map uh, a large area to detect potential point of interest like underwater mine. Uh, they can localize it and classify. In the second step, the sonar dive, diver held sonar, can come on site to confirm the classification of the mine in order to uh, clear it in uh, the final stage. After one year of uh, COVID situation, we are really glad to uh, start again uh, the exhibitions uh, in order to enhance our position as uh, one of the world leader in uh, underwater uh, uh, autonomous uh, system and unmanned, uh, uh, I will do it again. Uh, after, after one year of COVID situation, we are really glad to uh, start again exhibitions uh, in order to uh, strengthen our position as one of the world leaders in underwater robotics. Uh, we expect uh, a lot uh, thanks to our very close relationship uh, with the French Navy and of course continue our growth in the uh, export sales market. Uh, my name is Raymond. I uh, work at Milram. Uh, I have been working here for two years as a regional sales manager, mainly responsible for the Middle East and uh, Southern and Central Europe. Previously, I uh, spent nine years in the Special Forces, so I'm very familiar with uh, the environment where the soldiers have to work. So uh, we have been long cooperation with FN Herstal. Uh, we now upgraded this logistical version, so it's still uh, this enables to provide the logistical support and now also together with FN Herstal, Defender Light, we are able to also provide some uh, support by fire. Also you can see the Casavac over there. Uh, and yeah, so overall, um, what else should I say about it? So yeah, the uh, vehicle was in Mali for 12 months uh, with Estonian troops under the French coalition. The main experience that the soldiers got is that it's uh, very a useful tool to play around and also be supported uh, in logistical operations within in the camp, outside the camp. Also, a lot of ISR operations where you can provide the information from the battlefield. So there are a lot of different configurations where you can uh, utilize this vehicle. But the main lesson learned from there is that uh, initially the soldiers don't know how to operate it. They don't know how to think about it, where to use it. But if they start using it, then their mind opens and then they're actually able to utilize the actual value of the whole vehicle. Actually, we didn't uh, have big or any, any big problems. Uh, we were there uh, for 12 months. Initially, on the, first, uh, on the first four months, we got hit by an IED. So the vehicle needed some cosmetic uh, repairs. 
it swiped out the antennas, but uh, after replacing it, we were able to drive away with the same vehicle and we didn't switch out the vehicle. The same vehicle uh, remained in the operation area for the next eight months and did everything uh, wonderfully. Yeah, I would say that uh, one of the biggest values of this uh, is that it's hybrid, so you're able to uh, use the electric, electric, electrical drive as a silent mode and also then you're able to really easily maintain the operational uh, ability because you just have to add diesel into it. So the diesel generator provides uh, is charging the batteries and it will then uh, go on as long as you have diesel. So you can operate over 15 hours with one full tank. So the only thing you have to do is have a little bit extra diesel. And diesel is everywhere. So that's why I think it's a very easy to use and implement into the structure. So with this specific uh, configuration, actually we did cooperation with Glenair, FN Herstal uh, and Milram. It's a freeway cooperation. So uh, to provide the best solution for the customer. So it will be a, like a complete system, not only a vehicle, but vehicle, weapon, and also the connections and the, how to get the connection and the picture from the vehicle to the HQ or the end users.